Hey guys, Miss Beach here. This is a video tutorial that's going to walk you through how to get to Myon. It does go through Rapid Identity. So what you're going to do is go to my.bit.us. This is your homepage for that link. You're going to log your child in. I'm going to use my son so you can see what it looks like from a student account perspective. First five letters of the last name. You have the first initial, the middle initial, and then the last three digits of their student ID number. Just in case you don't have this, but you do have like an older report card or something with their student ID number on it, you can get into it. Um, the password is gonna be the school code, which is 134, and then your student ID number. I'm gonna log in. I'm going to go to application. These are all the applications your child has access to. So this is how you're getting to their math. You wanted to do math online. This is what you're using. Very cool, by the way. Check it out. Your Imagine Math, Imagine Math Facts. Um, lots of stuff on here. We're going to go to Mayan for this video. Once this page comes up, this clever program just takes you through to Maya and it keeps your child's information. So you'll log in with Active Directory. And now you're at their dashboard. So this is going to show you new each week, right? It starts over each week and it gives them kind of a goal. Um, tells you their level, their Lexile reading level. So the books that you're looking for are going to be in this range. All right, you'll scroll down. Books that they've read. My child likes cats, obviously. Um, there's some recommended for you books. And then you can always click see more. It'll give you, you know, what's popular right now, the top picks that kiddos are checking out. It's gonna give you new books uh, popular in your grade level. So let your kiddos browse these books, pick out something that's interesting to them. If you want to look at more information, you'll click info. Is going to tell you the Lexile level, the recommended grade level, all right, how long it would take for the audio to read the child the book, and how many pages. If they decide they like it, they can click read from here, or they can close out and say, meh. And then um, from these books, you'll see as you mouse over some of them, all these do, of course. Okay, there we go. So that's what I wanted to show you. Not all of the books in Mayan have an AR quiz available. This one does not, which is okay. Your child can still read this book. That's no problem. But we do want them to read books that they can take an AR quiz on. So if you're looking for something that they can read and get credit for, take an AR quiz, you'll want to make sure it has this orange tab. So they'll find a book that they want to read. Click read. Start the book. Um, down here, they have the audio. That'll read the book to them. They can click next to the book if they'd like to read it themselves without the audio. When they're done, it'll ask them if they want to take an AR quiz. They can do it directly from there. Let's say they accidentally closed the window and they haven't taken the quiz yet. They can go back to the book, take AR quiz, takes them to their Renaissance login. So this username is their student ID number. The password is the same for rapid identity. So it's 134 and then their student ID number. Log in, take the AR test, hopefully get a 100, send it to your teacher, let your teacher know your kiddo's working really hard. Um, they can take AR quizzes from home now. That was something they didn't have before. So we'd love to see them doing that. If you have any questions, let your teacher know. Thank you.